this dude and gal are not the same. Secular feminism wants you to think they are, but they are different. They have equal worth, but they are different. 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 They're different. The world is a big place full of many men and women. So different, but equal in God's eyes in their worth. Equal. Secular feminism wants you to believe that this girl can game just as good as a boy. But can this girl game? In the eyes of the Catholic Church, yes, she can game. This is a woman working. She's sad because she has to work and she's not seen as equal to men. But she doesn't know that the Catholic Church believes that her worth is the same. This is a man working in an office, but he's equal to a woman. Tell us, what does feminism mean to you in the eyes of the church, not secular feminism? In the eyes of the church, it means we're all created in the likeness and image of God. This is Kaylee, a woman from Minnesota. She enjoys things like taking selfies, and stalking her friends on Instagram. Today, we are gonna ask Kaylee what feminism means to her. Kaylee, what does feminism mean to you? Well, feminism to me is like really important. I think that Beyonce really represents what we feminism is mother. in the eyes of yeah. Americans everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. This is Angela. She's smart and likes to read. She likes to read books that boys read. That's a boy book, as society would try to tell you. What is feminism to you, Angela? Well, you see, secular feminism really focuses on the economic, political aspect of women's rights, whereas Catholic feminism, it, you know, it focuses more on having equal dignity. Fans, I love you so much. Um, but this is me, a true secular feminist. I'm empowered by my sexuality. I'm empowered by feeling comfortable in my skin. I'm empowered by showing, showing the world my flaws, and not being afraid of what anyone is going to say about me. And I hope that through this platform I have been given, I can encourage the same empowerment for girls and women all over the world. It's 2016. I will not live my life dictated by the issues you have with my sexuality. You be you and let me be me. Hello, I am a real secular feminist. Hey, what is feminism? Well, let me tell you. Fe feminism is like literally just all humans that demand that, that say that everyone should have equal social, political, and economic rights. That's it. That's, that's all that it is. And with that, yes, abortion. That should be legal, coming from me, a secular feminist. Women deserve to be in control of their body. You might look outside and say, that's a man's playground. But no, ladies, today in this modern age, this is our playground too, and everyone else's. That is our chair, and so is it man's. feminist woman. The true form of feminism is Catholicism because the church teaches us that we are equal in worth and dignity in God's eye. Pope John Paul II even wrote a whole paper on the unique worth and dignity of women called Mulieris Dignitatum. Mulieris Dignitatum teaches that there is moral dignity in every human person and those men and women were created to work together with their own unique strengths. The human soul was created for a specific purpose. One of the truths that are undeniable is that abortion is morally wrong. Each person is created for a unique purpose. In the unity of the two, men and women are called from the beginning not only to exist side by side or together, 
but they are also called to exist mutually, one for the other. However, feminists view this ideology as seeing women as secondary to men. Feminists also see pregnancy as a stigma that holds women back in the career field and as humans. That is what women are called to do, to be mothers, to be motherly. That is God's unique purpose for each of us, whether that is through having your own children or through adoption or just acting as a mother to friends or other people. The Catholic Church believes that since women and men are created in the image and likeness of God as equals and also have a specific dignity, secular feminism is therefore erring in many ways. The primary way that secular feminism and the church's ideology on this differs is on abortion. The church teaches that it is morally wrong. Abortion is first and foremost damaging to the child, who is almost always killed, um, but also that abortion is damaging to the woman. The woman loses a child and will feel guilt and loss and sadness. The woman that started Roe v. Wade, the abortion court case, is even against abortion and is an influential member in the pro-life movement. A secular feminist might argue that women need the secular advantage of feminism to help them in society from the workplace to the Supreme Court to their homes, and in some cases this could be true. They claim that feminism is needed to support what is known as women's reproductive rights. Without secular feminism, women would have would not have come so far as to have legalized abortions and over-the-counter birth control options. Women also claim that secular feminism is needed to move them further along in the workplace because the pay is sometimes different between men and women. But that is not something that can be helped by making men and women more similar. Reaching for similarities in men and women will only further the need for feminism, true church feminism, because then it will be more looked down on for women to become a mother and have a career. What needs to be done to recognize men and women as equals is to notice and celebrate their differences and encourage women to become mothers and keep their careers if that is what they are striving for. In response to this, a secular feminism might argue that feminism is needed all the more because women shouldn't feel obligated to be mothers. They should simply follow their career, but that is the opposite of what women were created for. It should be celebrated that women are able to have a child and raise a child and not looked down upon. Feminism should deal with the principles of a woman's dignity as is what the Catholic Church to believes to be true feminism. In conclusion, feminism is not inherently bad in its secular form. In fact, secular feminism is simply aiming to further women in all aspects of society to make them almost the same as men. However, the mistaken ideology in this belief is that the most important part of being a woman is being created in the image and likeness of God. But feminism should be formed around God and the church, the Catholic church. So women are created for their own dignity in a role that is different from men. However, in the workplace, it is good that women are striving to get the same jobs that they are capable of. But in matters of man and woman, there are differences, and those differences should be recognized.